Steve Ringholtz has paced the sidelines for Monroeville High School since 1978. He's won conference and regional titles with the Eagles, but all of those accomplishments mattered little one day 10 years ago upon learning that one of his biggest fans had breast cancer. My wife actually first found out of, about the, the breast cancer. Um, she went to the doctor and she uh, didn't want me to go because she didn't think that there's going to be any bad news, so she found out by herself. The news was shocking for Ringholz and his family, a group so dedicated to football for so many years. But the veteran coach said his family's favorite game has been key in dealing with the situation. It was definitely uh, serves as a good outlet because that's, that's probably one time when uh, you really don't think about the uh, situation that much while you're at practice or at a game, although I'm not saying you never do, that I never do, but, but you don't think about it as much. Warriors taking part in a war is a phrase often used to describe the action on a football field. For Coach Ringholz now, however, that perspective has changed. My wife is a warrior and, and uh, we, we've had a former player that was, was killed in, in the Mideast and, and he was a warrior. You know, football players aren't warriors and a football game's not a war. Ringholz's oldest son, Joe, has been Monroeville's quarterback for the past two seasons. She goes through tough times. Uh, it's expected, I guess, with this, and it's just great she doesn't show it. I mean, she's, she hurts in here, but, you know, she just doesn't let it affect her. Coach Ringholz said the spread of the cancer has slowed down, and all his family can do is fight. Well, it's a lot like sports, you know. You just do your best, and, and, and whatever happens, happens. And, and we're just hoping that, that uh, we can continue the fight. Reporting in Monroeville, I'm Ty Linder.